Hey Shug! So if you're interested in learning on how I took my hair from looking like that to this, keep on watching. I'm going to show you exactly how I make this hair look amazing. No lace needed, no clip-ins. I'm going to show you what I did, okay? Okay Shug, so I'm starting off on dry hair. I did shampoo it yesterday, but I'm just going to hop back in the shower, re-wet it, make sure it's really nice and soaked. I'm also going to go ahead and take my unit right here. This is actually a, a wig with the closure on it, with the lace closure. Um, don't worry about that right now. As you can see, it just needs a little bit of water, a little bit of product, a little bit of love. So we're going to hop in the shower, make it nice and wet. This unit is from Crown Wigs. I can link everything below in the description box. But Crown Wigs is a local, is a local hair dealer that's here where I'm at in my area. And she has given me the most bomb hair ever. She didn't give this to me. I, I paid for this. I got this Memorial Day last year. And this hair has gone through me going jet skiing and almost being lost in the ocean. This hair has gone through very hot climates. Long service days. And it's so lightweight. And it's beautiful. Um, I love, love, love this wig. Best hair I've ever, ever, ever had. So, let's hop in the shower. Now, your hair is nice and wet. Um, I even went in with my little uh, dimming brush to just make sure everything's nice and thoroughly wet. I'm gonna next go in with the Aunt Jackie's Curl La La. This right here is something that was also referred to me by the lovely business owner that I purchased this wig from. She said that my ha that, that hair um, really likes this. Um, and honestly, my hair is pretty content with it. Um, I'm just going to put it on the front, right here. So, what I want you guys to know is that I'm really excited to show you how to do this because it just looks so realistic and it's so easy to do. Like, y'all, I probably spend about 10 minutes a day, if that, on doing my hair. I'm going to go in next with a wig cap. Personally, I wish I had a new one, but I mean, hey. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? It's fine. So you want to be cutting the cap? Ha 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 ha. No, we won't be. So you're going to put that thing back right there. Just so you have just that hairline exposed. I'm then going to take my rat tail comb right here. I'm going to take this metal part and feel for basically where that band is. And any hair in front of that, I'm going to pull out. So I'm going to pull this out over here, but I'm probably not, I'm not going to pull the whole perimeter out. But about this much. It should look like I have a healthy bang, okay? And you just want to add a little bit more product to the back side of that hair because I'm sure it didn't get through. Just make sure it's all pretty coated pretty evenly. And I can't quite see what I look like. I don't have a viewfinder. So, if I look a little crazy, it's all good, but I am confident enough that I can do it, um, at least this part, without having to look in the mirror, because it's that easy. So bam, hair is nice and coated. Now it's time to grab the wig. So this is the hair, straight out the shower. I just put it in a towel, so it wouldn't be like dripping, dripping wet. So what I'm gonna do now, as you can see this lace, it's curling down, not a problem. What you're gonna do is you're gonna pinch this lace here, and then we're going to apply it right behind that hair that we left out. Bam. Hello. And I look like Rick James. But it's not secure. It feels kind of secure, but if I were to like run around, jump up and down, eventually it's going to slide off. Let me show you how we're going to secure this wig. So I'm just going to take two crimped bobby pins, okay? All I need is two. I don't need any more than that. I'm too lazy to go searching for a whole bunch of bobby pins. Um, sometimes I do three. I put one right directly behind here, but I don't feel like it today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the corner here and then slide this into the hair. And then I can of course feel just a little bit, like the slightest amount of tension on my hair. But for the most part, I don't feel it at all. 
it just slides right underneath basically where that wig cap and the closure meets so now that I've done that I'm going to feel up here for kind of like I'm not gonna do a half up half down I'm gonna do like a quarter up quarter down um and I'm going to feel for that right and now for this part I am gonna go check myself in the mirror just to make sure I'm not lopsided but you don't need to pull up a lot of hair not a lot of hair at all actually I don't pull up much hair at all so let me go back and double check and make sure and I'm not parting anything I'm literally just when I do this I don't use my comb I just pick up hair so boom I got the hair that I want it's messy there's no rhyme or reason to it I haven't slicked anything out I don't even have a brush I'm not even bringing a brush into this situation what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little um bangs here and I'm just going to literally combine it with that hair that I have sitting up at the top of my head now the trick to this and why this works so freaking well is because I make sure to texture match. If there's anything that's going to be taken away from this is that extensions, when you're shopping for your extensions, it should always be texture matched to what your natural hair is. Why? Then you don't have to worry about blending. Then you don't have to worry about, you know, if it reverts, if you did a heat style, then it won't all revert together. Now I'm just going to take one of the little itty bitty rubber bands, girl. Listen, <laughs> let me tell y'all, this is so affordable. This is so easy. I discovered this one day because I was in a rush one day and I was like, man, I do not want to look like a hot mess when I go to work this morning. Uh, I got like 20 minutes what can I do the first time I did this it did take me about 20 minutes and after that that's all she wrote girl that's literally all she wrote perfect so now you can see these little itty bitty curls which are mine I'm just gonna go down the middle and just tighten it now what I'm gonna do now is my due diligence and check in the mirror make sure that my lace is covered if I need to pull out any couple extra hairs around the perimeter I think I am going to do it because I can kind of feel where the front of that wig cap is but I'm just going to pull out a couple extra hairs and just take a look and see what that looks like go back in with our Aunt Jackie's curl out loud y'all please don't clock me because <laughs> I know that my nails are kind of looking a little rough at least the ones that don't have nails on look a little rough but a rough week doing waxes okay um had some some really hard waxes to do honestly I've had this thing of Aunt Jackie's curl la la for as long as I've had the wig so since last Memorial Day and I don't use a ton of it I also don't re-wet the wig every day I probably re-wet it I should probably rewet it once every three days or once every four days but I'll be honest I'm lazy and I like a really big messy look so I let it do its thing <laughs> and I'll probably only rewet it once a week next but certainly not least I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my diffuser so this is my ion conditioning one and this I got this from Sally's years ago I'm talking about like it's been like eight years um and this is the lovely diffuser it's my favorite diffuser I'm pretty sure I got this recommendation from Mono's hair off of YouTube a long time ago and all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of flip my head this way flip my head that way flip my head forward and we're just looking to get as much volume as possible from this diffusing okay y'all so this is the final look but now you guys all I did is now it's like it's 100% dry. I ran my fingers through it a little bit just to get a little bit more messiness and volume because like I said, I don't like super neat hair. It makes me feel like it has to stay super neat. So I love how with curly hair, I can kind of just poof it up a little bit, give some extra volume. Um, and like right here, it just all looks like my hair, especially with these two long gray hairs right here at the top exposing me. So, <laughs> Yes, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It should be pretty straightforward. And on an everyday basis, it might take me maybe 10 minutes to do my hair. Maybe. That's kind of what I'm trying to keep up with. I don't want anything that requires me to have to re-straighten, re-twist, re-curl, re-nothing. Uh, I want something that takes me about 10, 15 minutes max to do my hair so I look put together. 
for the rest of the day. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you all are great and enjoy the rest of your day.